Hi students, today we are going to discuss about the top driven centrifuge. Before we discuss, let us uh, see how it looks like. This is the top uh, motor uh, that is called top driven centrifuge because the rotating motion comes from the I mean top driven. Okay, you can see the and the two containers I mean the one which is outer one outer cylinder and the one is inner cylinder okay the inner cylinder is fitted with a fabric or a filter medium okay inner cylinder and the moment I pour the liquid into it the inner uh, uh, cylinder rotates and the particles will be stopped in the form of a cake and liquid will come out through this drain this is how the centrifuge looks like it normally rotates at a speed of 700 to 800 rpm okay uh, in our laboratory so uh, let me show you how it rotates by turning on the pump hope you keep the earphones away it will make a lot of noise and you can see This is, uh, I have, uh, you know, I have given some small break to stop. Okay, I hope you understand how uh, the things works. Uh, let us go to the board and uh, work on uh, the derivation and what are the important uh, factors that we are going to derive today. Hi students, welcome to my lectures on mechanical unit operations. Today we are going to discuss about the centrifugal filtration. The centrifugal filtration plays a major role when the gravity is not sufficient to separate the solids from the liquid because we cannot change the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meter per second square okay but in centrifugal force the acceleration is our hand more is the rpm you rotate more is the acceleration it can generate so for very, wherever the gravity is not sufficient to separate the solids from the liquids, we can use the effect of centrifugal force to separate the solids from the liquid. That is what the advantage with the centrifugal filtration. Let us go to the board, understand. This is the typical centrifuge looks like. The central rod, okay which rotate i mean central rod which is connected to the rotating frame okay you can see the two circles here the outer circle is just uh, an, uh, to hold the inner circle okay you can see the central rod is connected to the inner you know cylinder okay and the inner cylinder will rotate its higher rpms so the cake will be deposited around the uh, no corners of this inner circle and the solids will be separated here and clean liquid will come out of the centrifuge and can be collected in a collecting vessel here is the slurry consists of solids that can be pumped to the centrifuge from the centrifuge the cake will be separated and the liquid can be collected and what is the objective the objective of present derivation lies in what is the flow rate of the filtrate expected for given conditions that means how much amount of volumetric flow rate that means how much v with respect to time okay that's called the volumetric flow rate meter cube per second i can expect from this centrifuge given this length this much breadth this much rpm it could be 800 rpm 750 rpm it could be given these conditions given the concentrations how much i can expect the volumetric flow rate from this centrifuge so q is our objective so let us go a set of derivation where we can arrive to the q and later on we can do one example to solve so this is the and i mean uh, micro version of the centrifuge here the inner 
I mean uh, drum, I can say the inner drum is uh, you know, uh, pictured over here. So the height, that means the cylinder, you can see, uh, it is, you can imagine should be, it should be a cylinder, right? The cylinder height is B, okay? This is the cake, the blue one, the black one is the medium, okay? The blue is the one that is a cake that is deposited, okay? Water will come out of the centrifuge. R1 is the radius from the center to the cake surface and R2 from center to the edge of the cylinder and R is at any particular point in the between R1 and R2, okay? The pressure drop happens, okay? This, the pressure drop in this cake deposited is called delta Pc. The pressure drop in this medium is called delta Pm. The total is equal to delta P, which is P1 minus P2. Okay, the centrifuge will rotate okay, at high RPMs. I told you that Fg is equal to m into g, okay, m into g, mass into gravity. G is constant. Whenever you are trying to settle a solid in a container, you cannot change the earth gravity, right? So, but in case of centrifugal field, the G is in our hand. What is in place of G? M into in place of g v square by r what is v peripheral velocity how much velocity it is moving around the when i am trying to rotate what is the velocity peripheral velocity v square by r okay so what is v peripheral velocity can be related to the angular velocity okay one angular velocity means if it circle takes one complete rotation uh, that means it has covered two uh, i mean two pi radians okay velocity I mean, uh, let us go to the radians at the uh, omega is equal to radians per second. How much radians it has covered, okay, every second. That is called omega. V equal to R omega. If you replace V equal to R omega in place of this, you get M R omega square. This is R omega square is the acceleration. G is the acceleration in the gravity. R omega square is the acceleration in the centrifugal field. That means more is the radius, more is the acceleration and omega. At, if I rotate high speeds, that means more is the acceleration. That means the acceleration in centrifugal field is in my hand now. The gravity G I cannot change, but here I can change. I can make it faster by increasing the R and increasing the omega. R is the radius of the cake. I told you, I mean any po any particular position, I take a differential section, the from center, the differential section lies at r distance, which is the r is the radius of the cake, omega is the angular velocity, centrifugal force is equal to m r omega square, what has a differential force, dfc is equal to r omega square into dm, that means in this differential element, if I create a differential, uh, I mean uh, centrifugal force is equal to r omega square into dm, I know the mass is equal to density into volume, then how much mass is here, I mean how much mass in this uh, differential element, okay, density into length into breadth into height, what is the length, it is a drum right, what is circumferential length, okay, length, okay, into thickness, into height, length, into thickness, into height, that is called the volume. Okay, the, or L is 2 pi r, B is this distance, I mean dr into B is the height of this ring. Okay, that is what uh, dm is equal to uh, rho into 2 pi r into dr into B. That means the mass in this differential uh, element is equal to this one. I know the pressure, force by area. What is the force? F by A. Okay. What happens to the dp, I mean if it is centrifugal force that is going to generate, you can put fc. What is dp, dfc by a? What is dfc? r omega square into dm, okay, divided by a. What is the area? 2 pi r into b. That is called the area, circumferential area of a cylinder, okay. When you substitute here and you cancel out few terms and keep the pressure on one side, radius on another side integrate from p1 to p2 that means this pressure to this pressure the pressure i mean at p1 the radius is r1 at p2 the radius is r2 so integral p1 to p2 r1 to r2 if you integrate r r square by 2 if i 
if you substitute the limits r2 and r1 you get p2 minus p1 or delta p is equal to omega square into rho r2 square minus r1 square by 2 okay this is what the pressure drop that can be expected from this centrifugal field so let us continue yes i know delta p what is the delta p delta p is contributed to the contributed by two people one is cake and second is medium delta p is equal to delta p c plus delta p m i know from my previous lecture from the filtration unit delta p c plus delta p m is mu u into mu m c alpha by a okay into r m what is m c that is mass of the cake okay once you uh, uh, replace i mean if you, uh, earlier we have got delta p is equal to omega square into rho into r2 square minus r1 square by 2 here i got one more delta p equate these two okay it's the same okay when you equate these two terms and uh, i know the velocity u equal to q by a volumetric flow rate divided by area is my velocity substitute the value of q by q by a in place of u keep q on one side rest of the terms on the another side you get q is equal to rho omega square r2 my r2 square minus r1 get 2 mu mc alpha by a square plus rm by a what is alpha that is cake resistance specific cake resistance what is rm that's a medium resistance okay use the above equation to estimate the volumetric flow rate from centrifugal filtration that means if you know the density omega r2 square i mean uh, extreme radius of the drum radius of the cake mass of the cake that is deposited inside the drum viscosity specific cake resistance i mean a medium resistance you can find out how much amount of uh, q that is that is filtrate that coming out of the centrifuge let's take look at the small problem given radius of the drum is 0.6 meter radius of the cake from the center to the first surface that is the radius of the cake it's 0.5 meter mass of the cake overall that is deposited inside the centrifuge is 2 kg specific cake resistance alpha is equal to 1.95 to 10 power 11 meter per kg filter medium resistance rm is equal to 1.9 into 10 power 10 per meter viscosity of the uh, whatever the slurry you can take 0 0.0086 pascal second pascal second means kg per meter per second and what is the rpm n uh, we are i mean the centrifuge now is rotating at a speed of 800 rpm but you need in terms of radians per second okay omega is in radians per second to convert from rpm to radians per second these are the procedure i know 800 rpm means rotations per minute and 13 rotations per second by divided by 60 karoge. if you get, do that you get a radians per second or per second angular velocity is equal to n is equal to rotations per minute into 2 pi that means if the circle is rotating i mean imagine if it completes one rotation it covers 2 pi radians 2 pi radians per every rotation okay i know n rotations per minute into 2 pi radians per rotation 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 cancels out you get radians per minute okay and if you convert i mean uh, radians per second okay, rotations per second or and rotation rotation uh, cancels out radians per second that is you may already know n equal to 13 rotations per second into 2 pi that is 81.65 radians per second density 1000 kg per meter cube everything is given only you need to substitute the respective values in the equation to estimate the q and i have given uh, i have kept along with the units also uh, to for you to get a more clear because rotating things are rotating now things will be a bit more uh, more different okay r2 square minus r1 square the unit of r2 square minus r1 square means meter square per radian square okay because in rotating frame of reference means uh, every rota every radian it is covering every one radius it is covering one radians so these are the units are there uh, meter per radians if you substitute everything you get a q is equal to 0 0.0011 meter cube per second or 11 liter per second that means if i operate the centrifuge which is rotating at 800 rpm given this radiuses and area one more important thing area to calculate the cylinder area 
okay that means if you which area r1 radius area or r2 radius area which radius we are supposed to take because radius area will be different at this location and area will be different at this location so we have to consider average radius between the cake and between the drum so average radius sometimes people use arithmetic average some people use geometric average logarithmic mean average so i mean these are the things people use i have used arithmetic average area is equal to 2 pi r into length the 2 pi r the r average that means r1 r2 by 2 is my r average so 2 pi r into r average into b is my area of this drum because you have to put the area of the drum right i mean this particular area you put you calculate you get 11 liters per second okay this is how uh, you have to judge i mean uh, the design of uh, centrifuge thank you and uh, let, let us meet with some other lectures